Hi, I'm Stephen Miller, our Merchandise Communications Manager with Disney Theme Park Merchandise. Uh, we're here today showcasing a lot of the Star Wars Weekends merchandise that you're going to find starting on May 17th at Disney's Hollywood Studios. You know, this is an annual event for us and it's very exciting. We have some really fun nods this year to Star Wars Episode VI, Return of the Jedi. It's their 30th anniversary, so you're going to see the main logo here, uh, which features Jedi Mickey on the forest moon of Endor in a very classic scene of him riding on a speeder bike being chased by biker scouts. That, our main logo, is used on a variety of different logo products uh, that you're going to find, whether it be coffee mugs, frames, or some of my favorites, one of them being this. This is our deluxe autograph book, something new we've never introduced uh, before at Star Wars Weekends. It comes with a pen as well as a space to capture great photos as well as character autographs. And Star Wars Weekends is filled with lots of great Star Wars character meet and greet opportunities. So a fun new item here. Another new item that we're going to have this year for annual pass holders is our Star Tours name tag. Now this name tag here is only going to be for, Star, uh, for annual pass holders. We also have a green option for all guests. And basically you can have that name tag personalized with your name written in Arabesh. Arabesh is the alphabet that's used in the Star Wars universe. We introduced one last year. It was a blue name tag. It was so popular we brought it back this year and included that pass holder option. Uh, we also have some great new toys like Jedi Mickey's Starfighter, new vinyl mation that's going to be out, uh, as well as the thermal detonator hot potato game as seen also from Star Wars Episode 6 where uh, Princess Leia brings out a thermal detonator. This is like a hot potato game, something fun. And then one of my favorite, favorite items this year is actually around the corner. We introduced an oversized calendar this year uh, that features posters uh, from all the previous Star Wars weekends uh, that have uh, so great classic posters that you'll find from years past. The nice part is that once you're done using this poster, you can detach the posters from them and you can frame them. So it becomes a nice collectible piece as well. We have other action figures. We have some great die cast cars are coming out. But again, Star Wars Weekends is a really great time to immerse yourself in the Star Wars experience. It starts May 17th at Disney's Hollywood Studios. To find all this uh, merchandise there, visit Darth Mall, which is located by Disney's Rock and Roller Coaster starring Aerosmith. It's a big immersive experience there. You want to check it out.